Hey there everybody. Uh, this week I thought we'd have a bit of fun and learn a brand new tune from Bailiflex New Record. Um, but the big news in the bluegrass world of course is that Bailiflex just put out this massive new record. Um, it's, it's, it's almost two hours long, tons of great new music, all of the hot players. Um, it's just, uh, it's a tour de force and uh, <laughs> it's been really fun listening to it. Um, of course there's tons of like really uh, really virtuosic and sort of fireworks uh, playing, a lot, a lot of incredible solos. Uh, but Baylor is such a lyrical uh, composer as well, and there's some really beautiful melodies on the album. Um, so I thought we'd learn one of the kind of less uh, um, virtuosic numbers, but a, but a melody that really... Uh, that really kind of stood out to me and caught my ear. It's actually the second track, so I haven't listened through the album like a bunch of times yet, but I've listened to the first half of it quite a number of times at this point. So uh, this tune really started kind of sticking out to me. It's called The Old North Woods. Um, there's some really badass twin fiddles on it, so I think I'll teach the twin fiddle to this tune next week and we'll uh, break it down. But for now, I've transcribed the melody. Um, I just finished transcribing that with music notation uh, before filming here, and um, I've, I've learned the melody. I think it's really cool. There's a couple of cool things about it that I'll just kind of mention. Um, it's, it's in G minor. The A part's in G minor, and the B part is in G major. So it kind of has that, this little bit of a sort of tonality modulation going on, which is really cool. Um, there's just enough intrigue you know like there's it's mostly just minor and major chords but there's one point in the b part where we kind of really hit this d augmented chord and it's really cool <laughs> um you know just being able to to throw something a little more uh harmonically complex in just one time i think is such an amazing um uh compositional um compositional like technique that that Baylor is using there so uh, I think this is a great tune and I think you'll have fun learning it um, I certainly did so uh, I'll uh, I'll have a little go at playing it for you a couple times around and we'll break down the melody I've written it all out for you so um, you should be able to to reference that if you need to and then go and have a listen to uh, Billy Contreras I think is the fiddler on this track uh, mainly I'm not sure Who's playing the twin? I suspect maybe it's Michael Cleveland, uh, although I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. The Old North Woods. Okay, let's get into breaking down this A part. Um, I'm just gonna play it nice and slowly for you a couple times around, and I want you to just sing along or play along uh, on your instrument. All right, here we go. Now it starts off with a little bit of an intro, so it's one, two, three, four, one. Da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da. So we come in after one, and then there is three beats before we hit the first beat of the tune. So one, two, three, four, one. Thank you. 
So starting with that little uh, that little lead in. So coming in, I'm, I'm counting at one, two, three, four, one. We have starting on G there, making sure that when we're playing G uh, minor, we have our first finger at B flat and our we're also going to be hitting F naturals rather than F sharps most of the time uh, in the in the A part here as we're in G minor and A part, sort of going to be modulating to G major in the B part. So here's that run lead in. So G, basically just a um, a G minor sort of uh, Dorian mode. Sorry. Actually, we're not playing the E note, <laughs> e note there. We just we, that's the only one we're skipping out. And then we're going to hit the first beat of the tune on the note G on the E string, second finger down. So that's our first little chunk there. Second finger on the E string. We're even going to maybe simplify that a little more. So it kind of echoes uh, that same little melodic device on the A string. Starting off on the E string. Then we're going with our second finger on the note C and our fourth finger hitting the note E flat. So we're getting a nice big C minor chord there. The E flat. So, that's our first little phrase. So, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, from there. our answering phrase. So we're starting with the third finger on the note G on the D string this time. That's our phrase. So plus the second finger on the A string. It's sort of touching our fourth finger. So second finger, fourth finger, in between our second and first fingers. So listen to that phrase again. <clears throat> Let's check in with what we have so far. So this is the first half of the A section. One, two, three, four, one. For the second half, we're going to start out pretty much the same. And just kind of change the very end of it. So our ending phrase this time is... So again, one more time, starting on third finger on the D string. little trill there when we get down to our first finger on the G string. Okay, so a little bridging phrase. Um, that's just going to be open A, third finger on the D, on the note D, and then first finger on the note F on the E string. In between our first half and our second half. So... So we've got both our A part halves there. Um, I'm going to play them again for you. 
There's a couple of little things that I just want to sort of point out that are kind of stylistic and important details. Um, there's a couple of times where there's just these like very quick sort of hammer-on notes. Um, so I want you to have a think about that. I've tried to write that into in the in the transcription, um, but uh, it's a little a bit of an imperfect art. I feel like it's better to listen and kind of interpret it that way. Um, it's a little hard to include these details in written music sometimes, in my opinion. So um, from our intro, one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> Anticipation. So when we start, we when we retake the A part, we're just going to start with a big old sweep. G minor kind of sweep there. Open G and D string. First finger on the note B flat and second finger on the note G. So. And then we can kind of do that similar double stop position when we get down to the C minor. With the first finger on the E flat and second finger on the C. So watch out for that anticipation. sort of it, it's a whole um, a whole quarter note really there's a couple of notes that are kind of ghosted which means that they're barely played so this again is something that like I was umming and ahhing about including a, a couple of certain notes in the transcription because when you're just writing on on music notation it's gonna like treat every note like it's equal, but there are some t some notes that just kind of like they happen, but they're almost just uh, swallowed up and the um, they're not emphasized. So I'll just point those out. So. So he he kind of um, passes through that B flat note. And it's almost imperceptible, but if I was playing it, you know, your finger just kind of comes off and it does hit that B flat, flat on the way. Um, and the other one there is at the end, um, that little A note. It's, it is there, but... It's not emphasized. Um, so um, I wouldn't think about it too much, but just kind of like know that when when you're hitting those two particular notes, you can kind of just pass by them. Um, one, two, three, four, one. at you during those <laughs> when they were happening um yeah let's play the a part one more time together um sing along and play along this time and then we'll move on to the b part so one two three four one <laughs>
Okay, on to the B part. The B part starts, the phrase kind of starts uh, with the two notes leading in. So leading in, we're going for a B flat, A to a big open G. Um, and then we're gonna hit a big sort of G major, G7 arpeggio. So G7. That's our big phrase there. So we've got a big G7 arpeggio, which means F naturals, B naturals. sort of sweeping G7 to C. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I like this modulation a lot. Okay, then we have... Okay, this is a really cool phrase. We're gonna sort of switch between using our fourth finger on the note E and our open string on the on the note E. So, so it's three, four, open. Three, one. And we're using B flats again. So first finger back again. F. F sharp. And that's that chord I was talking to you about, which is called a D augmented. chord just a it's just a variation on a D chord really but it kind of has that, that little tension there of um, a B flat or an A sharp as well it's kind of related to a whole tone scale if you're interested um, and <laughs> that sort of sound so I'm, I'm hitting that first finger on F sharp fourth finger on B flat Okay, so that whole phrase. Okay, then we're gonna go back and do our big G7 arpeggio again. Okay, this time the answering phrase is gonna be a little different. Start out the same, three to four, open, and then so B flat to C. Then we're going to kind of do what we did before, but on the D and A string. So, so we've got three, four, open A. Then we're going to have so two, three, two, and then open. So that little answering phrase there. So the first time. And then the second time. So first time it's kind of creeping up and second time it's going down. Um, but the phrase in between is the same. Up. And then down. Just kind of transcribing what he he sort of does uh, to lead off that melody and into the first solo that happens. Um, it's kind of like a blues scale, uh, a minor sort of pentatonic scale, but with a B D 
flat in there as well. So D, D flat, C, B flat, G. So. Okay, let's go over our B part nice and slowly the whole way through. One, two, three, and. play that whole tune um, yeah we should have the whole tune at this point um, but check on the music notation and just rewind the video if there's any bits you need to go over next week I'm gonna teach uh, the very cool twin fiddle part to this um, so you'll be able to either play along with me playing it or uh, find find a friend and, and work on it with them as well so that's a bit of fun um, but it's really fun to be able to play one of these new tunes from Baylor and um, I think this is such a great one because it's super jammable. Um, you know, the melody's totally attainable, and um, I think that it'll become a jam standard, the old North Woods. So uh, let's play it. So with our little lead in, one, two, three, four, one. Yeah.